Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use aliases. So let's get started. Okay, so the alias mechanism allows you to define new commands by letting you substitute a string in place of a command or a group of commands. So the easiest way to demonstrate that is with a simple alias. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an alias called hello. And what that's going to do is print out hello world. So to do that, all we need to do is type in alias and the name of our alias, which was hello, followed by an equal sign. So make sure you don't put any spaces in there. And then two double quotes, sorry, two single quotes. And inside of that, we're going to type in echo hello world. And hit enter in, we've now created that alias. So now if we type in hello, hello world gets printed out. We can also use aliases to modify the standard operation of a command. So just as an example, if I type in ping and I ping Google, ping will continually send requests to Google up until the point where you hit control C to stop it from running. Now, if we use the dash C option with ping, we can control the number of requests that ping sends before it terminates. So let's just create an alias for that. So I'm just going to clear the screen and I'm going to type in alias and call the alias ping. So when we type in ping, it's going to change the way that ping functions for us. So if we then throw in our equal sign and two single quotes, and we're going to type in ping dash C and let's choose something more reasonable, like say five. So now that that alias is created, if we type in ping and we ping Google again, oops, let me just change that. There we go. It will actually terminate after sending five requests as it has done. Another example of changing the standard functionality of a command would be something like if we alias RM to equal RM dash i. So we're basically just adding a bit of a safety net to rm. Now to list aliases, all you need to do is type in alias, and that will give you a list of the aliases for the current user. So as you can see, we've got our hello alias in here, the rm alias that we just created and our ping alias. Now let's just try and create a, another alias for ping. Let's alias ping to equal ls. So from now on, whenever we type in ping, it should list everything that's in our directory. Now there's a bit of a problem here because if we want to actually use ping to actually ping something, we're now unable to do it because we have an alias that's kind of getting in the way of that. So what we can do is we can now unalias ping from ls and to do that, all we have to do is type in unalias and the alias that we want to unalias. So that's ping. And now ping's functionality should be restored. So let's just test that by pinging Google. And as you can see, ping is working fine. So let's just kill that. So let's just reset ping's alias to what we had previously. So alias ping, and we want that to equal ping dash C five. There we go. And let me just clear the screen. So you can actually make aliases of aliases. So if I type in alias and let's alias ping to pong or pong to ping. So if we type in pong, and that equals ping. So double single quotes and ping and just hit enter to create that. If we now list our aliases, you can see that our alias pong is there and that's equal to ping and then our ping alias is in there. So let's just clear that and let's run pong. So pong, send that to Google. Let's just direct it at Google. And there we go. So we should get five requests before it kills itself. And we did. So you can see that we've successfully aliased Pong to Ping. Now this can be quite useful to do 
in case you make some common typos. So quite a common typo is to type in SL instead of LS. And as you can see, if I type in SL, I get the Steam Locomotive. Uh, if you want to download that, you can just get that in the repository. It's just called SL and it's basically for that purpose. But if you want to stop the Steam Locomotive from crashing through your terminal, what you can do is you can alias SL to LS so that if you do make that typo in the future, then you will still get the output that you intended. So let's just alias that. So alias SL equals and LS, done. So that's a basic introduction to aliases. So let's just list our aliases. And you can see our aliases are all currently here. So we've got the SL alias, RM, Pong, Ping, and our hello alias. Now these aliases will only exist for this current session. So if I close my terminal window, or if I reload the session, all of these aliases will be lost. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to save your aliases. So that's brought us to the end of this tutorial on aliases. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow Linux Leech on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.